Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror thriller film, The Phone. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with a woman entering the elevator of a building alone at night. As the lift reaches up, its machine suddenly malfunctions, causing a short and mild quake. The woman attempts to leave, but she cannot open the door, and is stuck on the ninth floor. As the lights flicker, the woman sees another lady outside, turned away from her as she stands at the end of the stairs. The woman shivers in fear, but then quivers as her phone suddenly rings. She answers the phone in distress, and pleads with the caller not to call or bother her anymore. Whatever the caller said on the phone causes the woman to be in torment and mental pain. The scene then changes to a pretty girl named Beauty, answering a call from work, informing her that her recent publication about a pedophilia scandal has received many negative comments and reactions. Beauty is an investigative journalist known for publishing pedophilia scandals, which cause her to regularly receive death threats and calls. She informs her work that her recent publication will be her last work, because she will change her phone tomorrow and leave without a trace. Later that night, Beauty receives an email containing an edited naked photo of her with blood. At the same time, an anonymous man calls her and calmly threatens to kill her soon. The following day, while she's stuck in traffic, the same man calls her, making her realize that she has been stalked. Yuhi drops the call and maneuvers her car swiftly, getting to the other side of the road before the truck blocks it. This causes her stalker to be stuck on the other end, while she drives away freely. Yuhi goes to the office of her sister, where she reunites with her sister's husband and daughter, called Baby. Beauty informs them about what happened but she is confident that whoever is will not follow her anymore. However, the couple are worried about her safety, so they offer their old house for her to stay in. Beauty moves in immediately later that night, and she smiles happily as she finds a room with paintings of her niece and a photo album of her with her sister. After cleaning the room, Beauty receives another email containing an edited grotesque photograph of her. Beauty is not bothered by it, but then her computer suddenly displays a series of numbers. It kind of looks like a matrix. The screen displays a phone number, which last numbers are 66644. She repeatedly pushes the keyboard, but nothing changes, so she reaches out to an expert. However, even the expert cannot fix her computer. So Beauty takes the cell phone number displayed on the screen instead. After that, Beauty listens to her sister, who speaks knowledgeably about the paintings in the museum. Their conversation gets interrupted when Beauty's phone suddenly rings. She quickly runs to her purse and turns off her phone before returning to her sister. As the sisters diverse in their conversation, Baby takes her auntie's phone and answers it as it rings again. Baby glares at the two who attempt to take away the phone from her. Then out of the blue, Baby lets out a long and frightening scream. She then breaks down into tears as Beauty takes away the phone from her. Later that night, after talking to her sister about Baby, Beauty hears a woman sobbing. She follows the voice, leading to the master's bedroom, where she finds a woman on the bed, with her long black hair reaching the floor. Beauty slowly walks toward her when a hand underneath the bed grabs her foot. Beauty gasps in shock and fear as she wakes up, wetting herself, and realizes it is a dream. The following day, the doctor informs the two sisters that Baby just needs to recover from the emotional turmoil she experienced, and she will be back in her normal state. Later that day, Beauty meets up with a good friend and tells him about the strange call she received after changing her phone. Her friend thinks it might be her stalker, so he gives her a self-defense taser. Later that rainy night, Beauty offers a ride home to a wet schoolgirl. As they reach her home, Beauty abruptly steps on the stop pedal, as a woman suddenly appears in front of her car. Beauty immediately gets out of the car to check, but the mysterious woman has suddenly disappeared. As she returns to the car, her confusion arises as she finds the passenger seat empty. Meanwhile, the sister and her husband are getting intimate in their bedroom, when they are interrupted by Baby, who suddenly hugs her father tightly. The following day, while they watch Baby play in the park, Beauty shares with her sister that there were no call records on the day they went to the museum. Later that day, while Beauty is babysitting her niece, the little girl suddenly asks her out of the blue if that woman calls again and tells her not to scream anymore. This confuses Beauty, but she suddenly sees a woman piggyback riding on her back instead of Baby. The apparition quickly vanishes, instilling a mixture of feelings in her. The following day, Beauty meets up with her friend again, who updates her about the mysterious phone number. The telephone department could not trace those strange phone calls because there were no records. However, her friend found out the original owner of her new phone number. In fact, the previous people who owned the same number died in an accident. On the other hand, when Baby reads her father's letter to her mother, her mood quickly changes. She glares at her mom before smashing and dropping her family pictures on the ground and then runs to her room. The following day, Baby is taken to a mental specialist for children who informs her parents and aunt that what she's experiencing is normal. 
Girls of her age experience strong affection towards their fathers, but it will vanish as they grow older over time. In Baby's case, she imagines herself with long hair and wanting to live with her father. Whenever she sees her mother getting intimate with her father, she gets jealous. Later that rainy night, Beauty's friend gets stabbed repeatedly by her stalker, who pretended to be in an accident before attacking him. Meanwhile, the sister is left astonished after witnessing her daughter make negative remarks about a fairy tale story she read. The little girl leaves the room after cursing and saying how stupid the story is. At that same time, Beauty arrives at the hospital upon hearing the news about her friend. He is immediately rushed to the operating room, while Beauty prepares to leave the premises. However, she encounters her stalker, who kicks her, causing her to fall from the railings. Beauty quickly grabs the rail, but her stalker wounds her left hand with a knife. Before he can move on with her right hand, Beauty's phone rings. The stalker answers the call, and whatever he hears causes him to go crazy. As he vanishes, Beauty drags herself up to the walkway, where her curiosity grows, upon witnessing her stalker go mad after answering her phone. Later that night, while asleep, Beauty wakes up to the sound of the piano. As she wanders her sleepy eyes, she finds a woman with long hair, playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata in the mirror. Beauty quickly gets up in shock, but the woman has disappeared. The following day before leaving for work, the sister's husband, who prefers to be called Hormone Rich, asks his daughter to give him a kiss. Baby obliges, but instead of a kiss goodbye, she kisses him on the lips, like what a wife would give to her husband. Hormone Rich immediately breaks it, causing Baby to slap him on the face. After that, she screams in anger and scratches her face before pulling her mother's hair. Meanwhile, Beauty visits the mother of the original holder of her phone number, Jin Hee. Jin Hee's mother shares that Jin Hee had two phone numbers before she went missing, the last digits of which are 6 6 4 4 and 6 6 1 4. The mother let Beauty wander around Jin Hee's room since her daughter had not been found for years after she went missing. While wandering, Beauty finds Jin Hee's diary and a photograph of her with her best friend. Beauty continues her investigation by talking to Jin Hee's former classmate. She informs Beauty that after Jin Hee disappeared without a trace, there were a lot of theories about what happened to her. They thought she had left with her boyfriend, worked in a bar as a stripper. The ideas worsened to the point that there were rumors that she was murdered and her spirit returned to the school. Students and teachers would hear someone playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata on the piano in the music room, but there was no one when they checked it. There was also an instance where a student received a mysterious call and fainted on the bathroom floor upon answering. It's believed that she heard Jin Hee calling for death and ever since then, everyone has been afraid to answer their phones because it might happen to them too. A scene shows Jin Hee's best friend's phone vibrating during class. The friend answers the phone call with trembling hands, and as soon as she does, the lights begin to flicker, and the whole class phones ring simultaneously. The friend begs the other person on the line to stop before picking up a pen and stabbing herself in the ear. After the investigation, Beauty shares with her sister and her husband about Jin Hee and the curse of her phone number. Beauty confesses her concern about Baby being in possible danger. She believes that when Baby answered her phone, Jin Hee's spirit had transferred into hers. However, Hormone Rich disregards Beauty's theory, saying that they will take their daughter to a psychologist to be treated. A flashback then shows that the sister was infertile, so Beauty gave her eggs for in vitro fertilization. Luckily enough, Baby was conceived and born, which changed the couple's life forever. The following day, Beauty meets up with Jin Hee's best friend by the ocean, where the friend shares everything she knows about Jin Hee. It's revealed that Jin Hee was so happy after getting two phone numbers, one of which she gave to her lover. No one knew who the lover was, because Jin Hee never revealed his identity. But one thing was for sure, she loved him deeply. Jin Hee's lover loved hearing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, so she begged her friend to teach her to play the piano. A flashback then shows the friend teaching Jin Hee how to play the song on the piano with emotions. One day, Jin Hee's lover suddenly stopped answering her calls and texts. During their break time, the friend accidentally finds Jin Hee's diary, causing her to discover a shocking truth. As she flips the pages, the friend finds a positive pregnancy test taped in the middle. Before she can freak out, Jin Hee appears and threatens to kill her, as she reveals to anyone what she discovered. The flashback ends, and the friend shows Beauty that she made herself blind and deaf, so in that way Jin Hee could not bother her anymore. Later that day, Beauty coincidentally finds Jin Hee's diary on the bookshelf. She immediately continues her investigation with its content. She finds a family photograph of Hormone Rich, but instead of his wife, it is Jin Hee's picture. A flashback reveals that Hormone Rich and Jin Hee meet on a rainy night at the bus stop. Hormone Rich offers her a ride home, and while driving, he gives her a luxurious handkerchief. Jin Hee is immediately smitten by his good looks and kindness, thinking that the old man must be rich in both cash and hormones. So she disregards their huge age gap and even the fact that he's married. The two quickly develop a romantic relationship, 
and Hormone Rich brings her to the house Beauty is staying at and commits infidelity. But soon after, Jin Hee becomes overly attached and needy, so Hormone Rich leaves her despite her pleas. Days later, Jin Hee discovers that she's pregnant, so she repeatedly calls Hormone Rich, but he ignores her. The flashback ends, and Beauty immediately goes to Hormone Rich and confronts him. She believes that Hormone Rich has something to do with Jin Hee's disappearance, so she threatens to tell her sister if he does not reveal the truth. Meanwhile, the sister wakes up from thunder rumbling, and when she wanders her eyes, she finds the living room a mess. Their family pictures are broken and scattered everywhere, and there is a kitchen knife plunged into one of them. Beauty immediately leaves his office and returns home, where she receives a distress call from her sister, informing her that baby has gone missing. The phone call ends, and Beauty goes out of the house to check the premises, after finding a person standing outside. However, she finds the road empty, so she returns inside, only to find a possessed baby waiting for her. Beauty knows that it is not baby in front of her, but it's the disturbed soul of Jin Hee possessing the little girl's body. Baby plays her father's favorite song before walking upstairs. Beauty uses this opportunity and calls her sister. The sister arrives immediately, and the two of them are suddenly locked out of the living room by Jin Hee's spirit. The two attempt to open the door, but it will not badge. So they can only watch in fear as Jin Hee controls the little girl's body, by letting her jump down the stairs. As soon as she hits the ground, the door unlocks. But Baby smiles wickedly at them despite her state. Fortunately, Baby was taken to the hospital before suffering any more injury. Beauty returns to the house, especially her room, as she puts the pieces together. She attempts to remove her computer's plug, but instead, the whole outlet detaches from the wall. Beauty finds that it is connected to something in the walls, so she holds the outlet and pulls it. The wall tears, and Baby's portrait painting falls to the ground along with the debris. Beauty is left mortified, as she discovers that Jin Hee's dead body is hidden in the walls. As she turns around to leave, she bumps into Hormone Rich, who witnesses everything. Hormone Rich leaves the room without a word, and Beauty hurriedly follows him. She quickly rushes to his side, as she finds him unconscious in the hallway. Beauty feels a presence behind her, and as she turns around, she gets tased by her sister. Beauty wakes up, tied and gagged, and her sister confesses to her what really happened. A flashback shows that the sister accidentally discovers her husband cheating on her, when she and her daughter see him in a car with another woman. Hormone Rich does not notice them and keeps driving. So the sister leaves her daughter at home first, before sneaking into his office. As she does her investigation, the sister finds a phone, where she finds many texts and calls from Jin Hee. As her husband enters the office and lies to her about going on a business trip, the sister realizes that he has no intention of admitting infidelity. Later that night, the sister arrives at a park, where she surprises Jin Hee, who recognizes her immediately. They go to their house, where Jin Hee condescendingly mocks her infidelity. Jin Hee is so full of herself that she has the guts to answer Hormone Richie's wife. Jin Hee stands at the end of the stairs and mocks the sister that she and Hormone Rich would play hormone games whenever she is gone. The sister has had enough of her condescension, so she asks her to take an abortion, angering Jin Hee, resulting in a heated physical fight. As they struggle, the sister accidentally pushes her down the stairs. With her last strength, Jin Hee reaches for her phone that only she can use to communicate with Hormone Rich. As she has killed Jin Hee and her unborn child, the sister decides to hide her body. She puts Jin Hee's body in plastic and nails her hands to the walls, before placing plastering cement all over it. She hands her daughter's portrait painting as a display and distraction for what she had done. The flashback ends, and the sister confesses that she has no regret, and besides her jealousy of Jin Hee, she is also jealous of beauty. She is desirous of the fact that her daughter had to be conceived with the help of beauty's eggs. After confessing her crime, the sister tases beauty again, before checking her husband in the bathroom. The sister staged her husband's death, making it seem that he was guilty of Jin Hee and Beauty's death. She returns to the room, where she dumps gasoline all over them. As she prepares to burn the house down, Jin Hee's spirit awakens, and in revenge, she strangles her sister to death. Beauty can only let out muffled screams, as she is gagged and blindfolded. After hours of trying to remove her blindfold and the duct tape, Beauty finally succeeds, only to find her sister's corpse. The film ends with Beauty dropping the phone into the ocean, hoping it will end the curse forever. However, the phone still rings as it diverges into the water. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.